All right, it's day two at Gartner DNS Summit, and I am so excited to meet Yael uh, from Octopi. You're the CEO there. Uh, very welcome to the Robert Show. It's such a pleasure to have you. I met Yael yesterday as well, and she has such amazing insights around data, around data lineage, and much more. So I'm going to keep uh, that for Yael to uh, tell us more about it. But uh, just for her audience, uh, can you tell us what are you listening from the data leaders around? And also introduce yourself, please. Okay. Uh, so I, it's a pleasure uh, to be here, uh, also in Gartner. So it's the second day in the conference. Yeah. Uh, and first it was an amazing opportunity to meet you know, customers and partners. Right. Also to discuss uh, data with uh, prospects. And I've been, you know, talking with many people, and most of the time when I say that I'm in Octopi and we are the leader in the data lineage space, they kind of react, wow, lineage is hard. Hard, exactly, yeah. exactly. But, you know, it doesn't have to be. And I need to kind of tell them, guys, uh, when you choose the right vendor, and when you actually let the software and the company, you know, work for you, that can be easy, and that's what we do. Um, and can maybe dive yeah. a bit more into that uh, soon. Uh, I'll start with introducing myself. So I'm yes, the CEO please. of Octopi. I'm coming from a technical background. Uh, from start from uh, software engineering, grew all the way uh, to C-level uh, positions and spend most of my time in cybersecurity and data. Okay. So I was in our customer position, you know, driving a large organization from on-prem to cloud, right. building machine learning and AI. Uh, Software, so I know the pain of running large and you know exactly uh, organizations. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, thanks for sharing all the details, uh, Yael. And uh, to be honest, uh, you know, that's something I hear from a lot of data leaders too. Like, oh, data lineage is hard, uh, but they also talk about data cleansing at the same time. What do you think about that? So I'll start. You know, as a software engineer in my past, uh, we are lazy and we don't like to do the job. That's why we build software to do that <laughs> for us. Um, and that's what we also believe in, in Octopi. And that way we build a solution that is 100% automatic. Right. It doesn't require any professional services or headcount within the customer base. We just harvest all the metadata from any on-prem and cloud solution uh, and automatically build the, the lineage maps. Uh, and allowing our customer to interact with it and actually understand where the data lays and uh, where we travel across the organization. In a way that they just can open the browser, see where the data is, and explore it. And, and that's a big difference for them. And you talked about data cleansing, which uh, hopefully I don't hear a lot here in the conference. I mean, everybody talk about AI, but AI is the application. We are trying true, to bring them more true. to the fundamental. Okay. Uh, and in order to have good AI application, you need to control the data and you need to make sure it's ready and clean. Uh, and it's, you know, it has to do with both AI but also with data governance and right. other application. So when you have all the metadata in place and ready to be visualized and explored by all data users, yeah. uh, one of the things that our customers are being able to actually do successfully is to make sure they have a lean data management Mm. To kind of re get rid of data obesity as they, by the way, yeah. call it, yeah. uh, and make sure everything is in control. So we really help our customers, which are large enterprises. Some of them, uh, a lot of them, actually are Fortune 500 as well. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, so we help them, um, you know, gap uh, the tension uh, that exists between you know the technical data teams right. that needs to be in control, in control of data cost, uh, compliance, and so on, and all the rest of data users that want freedom. I mean, they want data democratization. They want to build application and to get you know value out of the data. But it's, you know, from one hand to keep control, and from the other hand have self-service. It's a huge, you know, it's a tension that it's hard actually to bridge. Right. So we uh, see ourselves as the bridge uh, from that case, that we help the technical data teams understand and see immediately all the data architecture. Right, right. Uh, understand where data is and so on. And from the other hand, for all the data users to have the context. I mean, I'm looking now on our report and I can easily understand where the data is coming from. I right. see 
So exactly. Oh, th oh yeah, this is yeah. this is amazing information. Thanks for sharing that. And also, in terms of you know, just on this topic itself, I know uh, a lot of enterprises do struggle to implement AI, uh, but at the same time, you know, the first step is obviously data quality too. And how do you see, you know, how is Octopi actually solving that problem for enterprises AI? So I will say first, and it's something that uh, I'm you know, also sharing with, with my team, and from my experience, as uh, someone who implemented well-built uh, data departments, is that first, software is only 30% of the story. Yeah. The 70% is methodology and leadership, uh, and you need to have things in control and to have uh, best practices in place. Right. So yes, we are giving great tools for our customers, and they can within hours get uh, a full lineage end-to-end -end and cross-system, what, by the way, allows them to understand the dependencies. Right. But now, okay, but I, so I have all the maps. Now I need to start working with them. Exactly. And that's where the methodology came to place, and we help them throughout the uh, di data lifecycle management from planning. I'm planning now our migration, how do I know uh, what do I have where and what's the critical path that I need to migrate first to get you know maximum value fast or what's redundant or not being used. Uh, second phase is I want to simulate every change before production. Right. So we are allowing our customers to reduce change management and nice. data simulation from days to minutes. Uh, so you can actually have the methodology to test every change before you go to production, document that and understand what will be impacted. Uh, later to automatically or in on the spot document that. Mm, mm. Um, and you know that continued throughout the monitoring and throughout the life cycle management, but you need to, to bring your team to actually do that. And, with, right. and so we believe that things should be on the spot. I mean, you need to have up to date uh, data visualization yeah, and yeah, mapping. Yeah, true. Uh, and um, yeah, to actually that. This is this is great. Uh, and so you really get into the depth to make sure that you're kind of getting that solution for the enterprises out there, which is fantastic. I, I think you know what's make us unique is that first we are focusing uh, mainly on lineage. I mean that's what right. we do, and that's what yeah. we are you know the best at it because it it is hard. I mean we started with. So yes, it has, but that's why for the past nine years, we've been building a solution that solved that for our customers. True. Um, and what we do is that we extract not only the, uh, the structure of the data, but also all the code and all the script and everything that touches it. So yeah. that's what allow us to actually you know, build the entire flow with no um, any manual work from each side of the party, neither from our side yeah. or the customer yeah. side. Okay, this is fantastic. Uh, so my next big question is, what's next for Octopi? All right. Um, so first, uh, we launch our AI uh, product, nice, uh, which help our customers to uh, automatically do migrations yes. and to analyze and improve all their code and script within the data code space. Now we are also utilizing that to help business users ask any. Um, question about the data and get immediate uh, response. So they can ask question like, uh, who uses my data? So if I'm like a Salesforce developer, I want to know where it travels, but I want to get the bottom line or where the data is coming from, how many hops I have between areas. So all of that being served immediately. So yeah. we use our knowledge graph to just you know surface that. Uh, we also integrate with other data governance, data quality, data security vendors. Yeah. So what we actually do is that we are helping our customers succeed in their data governance initiative. So nice. we are automatically harvesting all the metadata, making sense out of it, and now we exchange this metadata with existing, you know, with our customers' data catalogs and others, making sure they are up to date all the time. Wow. So we also bring more uh, data, you know, categorization and quality information also to our system and make it your centralized data hub. Wow, uh, this so is huge. The, the this is huge. Uh, I think you're kind of connecting operation. the dots uh, very well for, you know, obviously your customers in getting them a 360 degree protection as well. Uh, right? Indeed. We, we are seeing yourself, you know, in, in order to understand what you have and how the architecture look like, you need to have it in a centralized place. Yeah. And yeah. today it's siloed and separated between areas. So. 
what we see ourselves, you know, I mean, where we are focused on is, I mean, you should have all the metadata in one place, yep. being able to take decision, understand it also, as you said, you're monitoring and understand, you know, so it goes, I mean, we see ourselves as the fundamental for uh, data security, as you said, because we can see, you know, leakage outside of the organization, yep. and we can see segmentation and so on. It can happen, and yes. And, others. And, and we are helping, uh, for example, a financial customers with audited reports and seeing all nice. the AI or, you know, uh, PII uh, path and so on. So we are adding more abilities around that, uh, a lot with partnership. Okay. Um, Fantastic. Yes. Love love the work that you guys are doing. And uh, Yael, thanks for taking the time out to chat yeah. with us on The Robert Show. It is such a pleasure to host you. Thank I can't you. wait to see what Octopi is coming up uh, next week. In 2024 is the big year. So looking forward to it. Thanks once Thank again. Thank you for the opportunity. Awesome. Bye.